Indeed. Yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. All right, everybody. How exciting is this? Oh, my gosh. Let me kind of say it need any introduction, but I will introduce. We've got Henry Cavill. Yes. Ava Gonzalez. Babs, you're going to have to help me with your last name. Babs. Woo! And Hero Finds Tibbin. Higher. All right. One question about the film, just to you know, get get ready to watch it. So, Henry, you play guest in the film. How did you prepare for the role, given that the character was based on a real life person? Right. Uh, so, aside from growing a big beard and a moustache, uh, which, by the way, requires training, not physical training, waxing, waxing the moustache, a lot of that. Um, I read as much as I could about Gus Marshfellows. Gus unfortunately died during World War II, so there's not much written about him. And uh, these files are the files of this movie where this story comes from, but only declassified in 2018. So again, even less is known about Gus. And knowing Guy Ritchie and the kind of stuff that he's gonna do, the sense of hyperbole in all his movies, I did as much reading as I possibly could, which is for the book which is based on, and then kind of just left it up to Guy to lead the way. Because too much prep with Guy can be a, a risk. Because <laughs> then he's like, no, that's crap. <laughs> Don't do that. Instead, we're going to do this. And so we walked in just uh, trying to be as free as possible. It's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Aza. Oh, I like this. It's like a Yeah, it's like a test. Test. Yeah. It's like a test. Yeah, it's like a test. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a test. Easy test. Go, um, go. go. Marjorie is the only female on the team. How do you think she held her own, her, her own and how did you tap into her strength? Well, first of all, I'm very honored to be representing the women in this movie. Yeah. Amazing, amazing role. She was just spectacular. Women in the SOE were crucial. A lot of people don't know about this, but women were a massive part of World War II. Some of the most spectacular women made such a difference in history. And so I hope that after you watch this movie, you feel quite inspired to go and read about them. Uh, I did my personal you know, digging. I've not really, you know, I, I don't know why for so long I thought so much about men in the war and the more I found out about them. I was just, it was astonishing what they did for us. So I'm pretty honored and you know, when you're, if you're being able to stand in those shoes, it's quite easy because you just have to think about how, um, you know, how the strength that these women had and the amount of technicality and so much wit and smart. It took a lot of brain capacity for them and they brought a lot to the table. So I really am honored to play Marjorie Stewart. She was a, an amazing woman. She did amazing things for the World War II. And she married Gus Marjolis and then lost him sadly uh, in her second mission. But I hope you guys feel inspired when you watch this movie. You like her, you love her, and I hope you really enjoy her film. Thank you. All right, Babs, the partier. Everybody <laughs> says, your character says, that everyone loves your parties. Yes. What is the secret to being a great host? First of all, I'm Babs, I was small. Hey! Uh, <laughs> so, Woo. Uh, yeah, I think the key to making a great party is proper booze, mm -hmm. <laughs> proper attention to each and every one and making people feel special. You know, and you keep moving through the party. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You keep moving through the party and giving everybody love and music, right? And that's a great party. That's my great party. <laughs> music and moves, that's, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Hira. So the, the costumes in this film are incredible, the wardrobe. Yes. Let's talk about it. And did you get to take anything with you? I, ooh. I don't think I did get to take anything with me, actually. I definitely should have. You'd believe if I said I took this hat, I think everyone would have. Um, well, no, I've just now that I've been in this film, I now have a free pass to wear these hats. I'm not being ridiculed. No one's allowed to point out this hat now. So that's the big part that came with it. Lulu, um, who was the costume designer on this, was absolutely amazing. She had a lot of work to do, and she did it exceptionally well. Um, but I do think that Babs and Aza keep an eye out for their costumes because they definitely take the crown when it comes to winning that competition. They are both dressed immaculately in every single scene. Um, so slightly jealous of those two, but I did love the clothes I got to wear. And yeah, as I say, Lulu is incredible what she does, so credit to her for that. Amazing. And now I think it's time for what? A selfie from Euro? 